good afternoon students my name is pravin pawar and i am from it department our first session is related towards the oop concept object oriented programming concept which is having the six basic concept related to any object oriented programming now why i am saying object oriented programming the languages we are using for creation of the web pages or for the applications or whatever the things we wanted to develop we are using the java dot net c sharp python or the kotlin languages these languages are specifically related to the objects which are been used into that particular languages that's why we are taking the basic part of all the languages which are related to the oop that means object oriented programming now the first point is related with this is nothing but the object now we'll be discussing why we are calling it as a object now the for as a definition the object is nothing but anything which is present in the real world we can call it it as a object for example consider the fan the tube light the person which are on the earth they are we everyone we can call it as the object now we will be looking into the diagrammatical part consider this is nothing but my object i know my diagram is pretty much bad related to that but i require that much only okay so this is consider i am considering this person as an object and this person is having some kind of a name so that i can represent that particular person so consider that is the first point is nothing but the name of that particular person now this person can be doing anything for example walking or driving or any kind of a running things so these are nothing but the properties or the things that is done by that particular person so for example walking okay the second one the running whatever the things we are using so that is the thing related to that okay now name if we are calling it with the name which will be call it as the specifically variable names that is known as the variable for that particular object and the running function if i convert it into the programming it will be call it as the functions or the methods okay that will be known as the functions or the methods and which are related to this particular object all these things are related to this particular object okay so that is that is why i told you it is nothing but the real world entities which is called as the object for the programming languages okay now the second part is nothing but the class the class is the blueprint for the creation of the object with including the variable as well as the method or the properties of that particular object so that means if i group this entire object properties as well as the variable name then that thing will be known as the class that will be known as the class of that particular programming languages so in in the simplest way the object is nothing but the one of the member which are created into the class if we are creating the multiple members and if we are grouping into a one section that will be known as the class of that particular object or that is nothing but i have the lot of fruits okay one is i am having the apple fruit or the banana fruits or the any kind of a fruits but if i am putting it as a group into one bucket then that way is nothing but the class of that particular programming language okay now the next one is nothing but the abstraction the third point related with the concept of the object oriented programming is nothing but the abstraction now in the abstraction for the definition whatever the things we are hiding but it is not visible to any of the person then that will be known as the abstraction now for the real world example you we will be having the on off switches we are having every switchboard we are using it for the if we are pressing the button the light gets on when we are pressing the button light gets off but that is the only visible or visible part to the human but what is happening behind that button it doesn't known to us what kind of a wire we have used how much amount of the current we are transferring as well as the size as well as the whatever the different different things what we are looking at only the button the same way we are looking at the programming also 
the sum of the built in programming languages are known as the abstraction that is we only know the language as well as the method name that we are using into the program but we doesn't know about what is written or what is the processing of that particular method or the function that's why it is known as the abstraction in the multiple languages for example java python we are call calling these methods built in methods as the abstraction methods okay the next one the fourth one is nothing but the encapsulation now encapsulation is nothing but we are wrapping something it is same as the class but we are wrapping the group of multiple kind of a things into one place that's why it is known as the encapsulation which also supports the abstraction of that particular programming also now i'll be giving you again the example related to that simplest example consider if i'm having a lot of chocolates with the wrapper okay now if i remove all the wrappers of that particular chocolate and if i put it in a jar and if i break that particular jar for the multiple days for example one day still i can take out the each and every chocolate separately even if i try it after the three months then it is a little bit difference between them so i can at least take one of it but after six months i cannot take out the separate chocolate from that particular jar the same thing goes with the programming languages also if i am not encapsulating any kind of a programs related to that in the programming languages i cannot separately differentiate what i have written before and what is the use of that particular program into that particular section so that is known as the encapsulation but the same thing if i am using the wrappers of that particular chocolate and if i am putting it into the jar and sealed it for months for 6 months or for the year still i can take out the separate chocolate from that particular jar the same goes with the programming language also now i'll be giving the simple example what we are using as a encapsulators into the programming languages for example any kind of a curly brackets that we are using okay for example any kind of a curly brackets comma square brackets comma round brackets colon symbols semicolon symbols these are the symbols we are using to encapsulate all kinds of a programs into that programming languages so we get exact location from where is going to be class has been started where it is going to be ending where the method has been started where it is been ending how many parameters has been passed to the method that is been decided by the encapsulation of that particular example for example i will give you the example related to that just a second consider this is my class okay this is my class if i am opening i am using the curly bracket after writing the name of a class for the particular project i have used the open curly bracket so that means after this curly brackets what i am going to be using is nothing but the opening of the class that is nothing but the opening of a class and after writing some of the lines in between there if i am using the closing option i am doing the closing curly brackets then that is the section where i have written whatever the content i have written into that particular brackets they are enclosed and which are the part of the class that's why it is known as the encapsulation and i have already told you that abstraction is also the part of the encapsulation that means some of the times we can do this into the built in methods that means the students or the other person who wanted to use those methods he cannot know what is the actual running of that particular methods the same thing goes with the encapsulation that is the part of it okay now the fifth point is nothing but the inheritance now the inheritance is nothing but we are taking some of the properties of the higher class or some of the properties from the upper class consider i will give you the real world example one of the thing our parents after birth of our we are having some of the properties from our parents for example some might be having the eye color same with the mom and the dad some might be having the blood uh, group of that from you are taking it from either from your mom or the dad so that is nothing but we are taking some of the properties of our higher class towards the lower class so that is also known as the parent or the child class that is nothing but if i use something for example if i used a variable a is equals to 10 into that particular class now if i want to that use that particular variable a with the value 10 into the second class then also we can use the inheritance 
that means i am not repeating the same thing again and again i just importing those things from another towards the another class that is known as the inheritance of the object oriented program now the last point is nothing but the polymorphism now the polymorphism it is nothing but the greek word which is having the two parts first one is nothing but the poly poly means many and morphism is nothing but the forms now polymorphism if i am combine both the words that is nothing but the multiple forms if you are having the class with the multiple format as well as the same to same name but if you are only changing the parameters of that particular class then that will be known as the polymorphism okay so same thing real world example the already they are government also is telling that if i am taking any page xerox towards the xerox center then what i am doing i am doing the polymorphism of that particular things i am the person and if i am having the same person looks like me then that is nothing but the polymorphism of that particular original purpose that is known as the polymorphism into the object oriented program for example if i am having one of the function name that is known as the class i will give you one of the example consider if i am creating a method okay if i am creating a method consider any kind of a method for example def add is nothing but my method name okay and if i am using it in to the python so i will be using the colon symbols after that so if i am writing something into that particular method but once if i complete the method if i am writing the same method on the second next to that particular method what i am doing i am doing the next line towards that particular method and using the same name of that particular method but now i am changing the parameters only for example a so that means we are having the same name into both of the methods plus i am using it into the same class so that is known as the polymorphism that means i am creating the multiple forms of the same method that is known as the polymorphism i hope so this concept has been clear to all of you and thank you for attending the session thank you